Hey guys, today we're going to be opening this WoW box subscription box. I will put the link down below in the description with all the information that you need about this box. But let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the June box. This is the classic box. They have several different boxes, including one that is a kawaii box that is so cute. On the back of this paper shows you everything that you get inside the box, so let's go ahead and get started. First is the drink, which is this, and it looks like it is lemon tea. And it says, afternoon tea has been drunk by the English ever since the custom was first started by the Duchess of Bedford in the mid-19th century. Huh. This says you'll feel refreshed sipping on this blend of lemon tea. I don't really like tea, so let us see if I like it. Yes, I am not a huge fan of tea, so I don't particularly like this, but if you like tea, then you will. It's very nice lemon-flavored tea. So next is this, which has an ice cream cone on it and some little fireworks down here. This says it is caramel corn salt vanilla, a special summer treat. This take on crunchy caramel corn snacks adds a vanilla taste accented by Okinawa sea salt. Ooh, they smell really good like vanilla. So this is what they look like. These are very good. They have a nice vanilla flavor. And they're just like little crunchy snacks. Almost kind of like a Cheeto, but without the cheese. Those are very good. I give those a 5 out of 5. Next is this. And these are potato chips. I don't think they have any particular flavor. I think they're just potato chips. Looks like a regular potato chip. I don't know if these are supposed to have a flavor to them, but they don't really taste... Like, there's a light seasoning on it, but it almost just tastes like a paprika kind of thing. There's a light seasoning on these that's a little bit like a light, light, light barbecue flavor. But these are pretty good. They just kind of taste like regular potato chips to me, so I give these ones like a 4 out of 5. Next is this, and it has some kiwi and melon and lime on the front. I think these are assorted haichus. I'm not sure which one this one is. I think I just had the kiwi one and it was really good. So these are just exactly like Haichu and they're really, really tasty. So I give these a five out of five. Next is this box of Pretz. This says that they're salad flavor, which I'm not sure what that means. I wanna say that they put like a ranch seasoning on this and that's why it's salad flavor, but I could be entirely wrong. So they're like the little breadsticks, and it, it kind of tastes like ranch to me. It may not be, but it's a very nice light seasoning that they have on it. So these are really good. I give these ones four out of five. There are three boxes of Pocky in this box. So the first one is this one. So when this got shipped to me, they all melted together in one big block. So I might just go ahead and take a giant bite out of it. These aren't bad, they just kind of taste like normal Pocky with the chocolate on it, so I give these like a 4 out of 5. The second Pocky is this one, which is called Brazilian Orange, and I don't think I've ever had an orange flavored Pocky before. Again, all of these kind of melted together, but I pulled off one, so it has this bright orange candy on it. Ooh, it smells really good. It has a very nice bright orange taste to it. It almost tastes like Sunny D to me. Very nice, very light. I really like this a lot, actually. I give that one a 5 out of 5. Plus, it has a little a little toucan on it. The third Pocky is this Coconut Pocky, which I am obsessed with coconut, and I've had these before, and I already know that I like them. This is what they look like. They're covered in flakes of coconut, and I'm really excited because I really like this one. I really love coconut, and I really like these, so I give these a 5 out of 5. Next is this giant Caplico, and when I first saw this, I was praying that it wasn't going to be green tea flavored, and it's not, so I'm really excited. This one says it's melon soda flavored, so I'm really actually excited to try this. Oh no! So, it's way too hot in California right now, and this completely melted, like, gone, bye bye it is completely annihilated. 
that's what the inside of the package looks like. The entire cone is empty because everything melted. So I guess I'll just taste a little bit off of the melted part. Definitely has a melon flavor and it's pretty good. So I mean, I can't really review it since it annihilated. Sad day. Next is this, and this is Grape and Musket Gummy. It says that it's up to 126 centimeters long, or 50 inches. Whoa! Well, that's fun. It smells so good. Okay, so let me try the green part. Very nice melon flavor. And a very nice grape flavor. I really like these. It's really tasty and kind of fun because it's long. So I give this one a 5 out of 5. That was probably a bad idea, but it's good. Next is this box, which doesn't look like candy, to be honest. Oh, so there's these little cubes. It says these are supposed to be chewy caramels, and I really like caramels. How cute. So they're basically just these little caramel cubes. Those are really good. They're just nice little soft caramels. I don't think I've had Japanese caramel candy. I don't know that it's that common, but these are really good. So I give these a five out of five. Next is this little Ramune bottle filled with candy. This is called Ramune Blue Hawaii. The candy's really good. It dissolves in your mouth pretty easily. I don't know what the flavor, I mean, it says the, the flavor is blue Hawaiian, but I don't know what that means. It just tastes really good. I think there's like a slight pineapple-y taste in there, or maybe it's just blue soda flavor, but either way, it's really tasty. So I give this one a five out of five. Lastly is this, which is called Mintia, and it is mint flavor, but it's also lemon-lime flavor. So this is what it looks like, a little tiny pill, basically. Woo! You know how Altoids thing is curiously strong? This is extremely strong and a super tiny little thing. You definitely get the mint and then you get the lemon lime, which I, to be honest, don't really like that combination. But then again, I don't really like mint to begin with. It's a very strong menthol mint. It's almost burning. So these are extremely strong. I don't particularly like the mint flavor, so I'm going to give these like a 2 out of 5. So that was it for this month's WOW box. Again, I will put the link down below to where you can buy this box and all of the information about how much it costs and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.